Today's lesson is lesson 119, rounding a number to the nearest 10, 100, or 1,000. So here I have the number 48,271. If I wanted to say what the place values were, the number 1 is in the 1's place, the 7 is in the 10's, the 2 is in the 100's, the 8 is in the 1000's, and the 4 is in the 10,000's place. Okay. Now I want to round this number to the nearest 10. So I'm going to look and oh, I want to round it to the 10's place. Okay, so I'm going to put a check above the number I want to round to. When we round a number to the tens place, we look at the digit to the right of it to see if it's five or more. So the digit to the right of it is a number one. So is this digit more than five or five? No, it's not. So if it isn't, what we do is we write a zero in its place and keep all of the other digits the same. So the one becomes zero and everything else be stays the same. So this is, would be rounding it, the number to the nearest 10. It would be 48,270. Now let's round this number to the nearest hundreds place. If I want to round it to the hundreds place, I'm going to put a check over the hundreds place and I'm going to look to the number to the right and see if it is five or more. So the number to the right is a seven. And is the seven five or more? Yes, it is, it's more than five. So in this case, we make the hundreds digit one more than what it is. So two plus one is three. Then we write zeros in the tens place and in the ones place, and all of the other numbers stay the same. So rounding this number to the nearest hundreds would be 48,300. Okay. And we know that because 271 is closer to 300 than it is to 200. Right. Now we're going to round this number to the nearest thousands place. So we put a check mark above the thousands. And I look to the number to the right to see if it's five or more. So the number is 2, and it is not 5 or more. So in that case, we keep the thousands place the same, and everything to the left of it, and the hundreds, tens, and ones place all become zeros. So this number is 48,000. And we know that because 8,271 is closer to 8,000 8, than it is to 9,000. Okay, so let's try it with this number. We have 73,549. First, we're going to round it to the tens place. Okay, so I'll put a check above the tens place. I look to the right, see if this number is more than five, and it is. So I add one to the four. The four becomes a five, and then everything to the left becomes zero, and everything to the right of it stays the same. So if I round it to the tens place, it would be 73,550. What if I rounded it to the hundreds place? So round it to the hundreds place, we put a check above the hundreds, and then we look to the right of it with the four. So is the four um, five or more? No, it's not. So in this case, the 5 is going to stay the same in the hundreds place. Every, the tens and ones will become zeros, and everything else stays the same. So rounding to the hundreds place, my answer would be 73,500. Okay, let's round it to the thousands place. So we look, check the thousands, and look to the right of it, I have a 5. So is 5, 5 or more? Yes, it is. So we add one to the thousands place, so that becomes a four, 
The seven stays the same, and the hundreds, tens, and one places are all turned to zeros. So rounding this number to the thousands place would be 74,000. Okay, let's try it with this one. And if I want, let's try rounding this to the nearest thousands place. So I check the thousands, look to the number to the right. Is three five or more? No, it's not. So the nine stays the same, the one stays the same, and everything else becomes a zero. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.